Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to make excellent reflections using HDR images. So I've got my basic scene here. I'm in cycles, so make sure you change that to cycles. And I'm going to add a sphere. So Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. OK, I'm going to reset that actually so it goes in the middle. So I've pressed N on my keyboard to get up to here. Select all these and press 0 and it'll go into the middle. And I might actually just put it up on the Z1 so it's just above the floor in case I want to put a floor in. OK, I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier in the modifier tab, add modifier, subdivision surface, and put the view up to 2 so it's nice and smooth, and click smooth shading over here under the tools panel, just there. OK, so I've got my nice round ball. I'm going to pull this down and go to the node editor. That's where I'm going to add my materials and add the background. So there's two things you need for nice reflections. One is a shiny material and two is something to reflect, so a image in the background. So the first thing we're going to do, make this shiny. So add new and I'm going to keep it really simple, delete the diffuse and add a glossy shader. Like I say, nice and simple. You can get a bit more technical than this and do all sorts, but just for now, keep it as simple, glossy shader and roughness down to zero. So basically it's a mirror ball. So if I press Shift Z now, which is render mode in this panel, you just see a grey ball with a light just there, which is the, the light in the scene. So I'll press Shift Z again, back to solid mode, and I'm going to insert a background image. Okay, the first thing we do is go to the world panel here. So this is my world, and there's the grey background that I was talking about. If you've got uh, nothing there for some strange reason, you can just add a new here and you can get rid of it by crossing it off here. And I'm going to add Shift A, Texture, Environment Texture. OK, the next thing I need to go through is environments. Now, a great place to grab environments is HDR Labs. And I just typed it into Google here, HDR Labs, and there's the SIBL archive. If I press on that, you get these and you can click on one of these. What you'll see when you downloaded it is these files, go for the 8K one, that's the one you want to use, and I'll just show you what that looks like. It's a big map of a whole environment in one image. So this side links up with this side, and this bottom links up with this top. So it's the whole environment all the way around in one image. So back into Blender, I need to press Open on my environment texture and find my HDRI. Remember, go for the big one, the 8K image, click on that, Open Image. It will only work when you hook it up, so make sure you've hooked it up with your noodles. And then you can press Shift Z. And lovely, a nice reflective ball. If I move around, you can see my ball reflecting really nicely. Now what I've also got is a nice monkey there with a like gold with a goldy colour texture. If I click on him and go back to the object materials here, you can see I've given him a sort of goldy colour. And if I put them both together and put a floor in. I think they look rather nice. So that's great reflections using HDRIs in your world tab and go to HDR Labs for some great textures. I'll put the link in the description. Hope they help. Thanks for watching.